Welcome back. We are joined now with Dave Jones with the Tennessee Department of Tourism. And Dave, today we are going to Morgan County, which we both are excited about this because it's a really neat place that's only an hour and a half away. Yeah. I was recently up there brushing yeah. mountain, one of the things yeah. we'll talk about. But if you were going to do a 48 hour trip, a quick little weekend getaway, what would you well, hit on the way? You know, Brushy Mountain is a game changer for Morgan County. So you definitely want to go and learn about the history. Uh, they've got 14 different stations along the way when you tour inside the prison. And uh, I, I just think everybody needs to go and see that. The stones are hand carved. The chapel is now a museum. Uh, the self-guided tours, they have guards along the way that can mm -hmm. kind of help you tell the story. But they've also taken other buildings uh, there and leading up to the big penitentiary and made those into other things like the warden's table uh, which is a restaurant uh, next to it is a gift shop and they sell what's called end of the line moonshine which <laughs> actually like <laughs> which actually is made across the road in another repurposed building yeah. so there's there's plenty to do there and I encourage everybody to go and uh, take advantage of that uh, they do concerts now they're starting to do mm -hmm. concerts on a weekend tourbrushy.com is a great way to find out more information about that there's so much history there as well I'm interested to see if we're gonna be talking about some brushy mountain weddings soon because they have a really nice that's picnic type idea. area. Oh, the, the outdoor area is, is amazing. It's beautiful. That's a, that's a great idea. Brushy Mountain Wedding. <laughs> you know, other things, of course, Brushy Mountain, not Brushy Mountain, but Morgan County is known for outdoor activities, right? Yeah. And uh, some of those beautiful. things, of course, Frozen Head State Park, mm -hmm. we've talked about that. You could go and stay there, or not stay there, but you can go and visit. Uh, or you can go to the Ovid Wild and Scenic. The, the, mm -hmm. the uh, Lily Overlook is great. It's easy yeah. for anybody to get to. So I encourage people to do that. And right close by the uh, the Ovid is, uh, is a tavern called, well, it's a brewery called Lily Pad Hop Yard and Brewery. If you're into the uh, craft beer scene, mm -hmm. uh, this is a place that you want to go. It's all outdoors. This is not like a, a craft brewery in Knoxville. This is outdoors, as you can see, and people really will come from all over just to enjoy a craft brew out literally in the middle of nowhere. And if you want to stay, there's rustic camping there called the Lily Pad Campground and uh, encourage people. The locals are loving it. They're getting people from Chicago, from all over to coming just to ride and to stay there and not just stay there, but eat and drink there at uh, that particular place. All right, what's next? Well, we've got our, we've for, got our brew yeah, there. Okay, Where are okay. we head to next? 45, <laughs> about 45 minutes from there, of course, is historic rugby. Mm -hmm. And that's the 1880s uh, Victorian English village. People have known that for uh, for the great structures and the history that's there. Uh, but they also have lodging. They've got three different places. One is called the Newberry House, 1880s. Six rooms. That's the Newberry House right there. Six mm -hmm. rooms. Two of those rooms are supposed to be haunted. So, oh. uh, you might want to you might want to <laughs> ask for that room. They got a British car show coming up uh, August the 25th. Uh, Big South Fork is right on the south end, so you can go hiking while you go there as well. And another place to stay mm -hmm. is called Gray Gables Bed and Breakfast Inn. Oh, I okay. love Linda Jones. She is a fabulous cook. She's got her own cookbooks, and not only does bed and breakfast, she does an evening meal, which includes uh, soup, salad, meat, veggies, and all that kind of stuff. You want to go and check out that place called Gray Gables bed and breakfast. If you've got 48 hours, you, you just gave us the perfect itinerary. There you go. And go get a bologna sandwich at the R.M. Brooks store. Uh, that's uh, that's award winning as well. Awesome. And, and we've got more information on TNVacation.com. Thanks so much, Dave. We Good appreciate to see you it. If you didn't have something to do today, you might now. And